humanitarian aid organization Gift of the Givers has partnered with the Cape Town International Convention Center to provide water drop-off points to assist flood victims in KwaZulu-Natal. The center has made 5,000 square meters available to the public to drop off clean drinking water. We bring you the latest on the story with this live crossing to SABC News reporter Mariska Buertha in Cape Town. A very good afternoon, Mariska. Great to have you on the agenda this afternoon. Thank you so much for your time. How's the water drop-off efforts faring so far? We're coming to you from the heart of Cape Town at the CTICC, where Gift of the Givers um, has set up a space where they're collecting water. They started the drive yesterday, and uh, the space they've been given by the CTICC is for free. It's a collaboration between them and the CTICC, of course, the Cape Town International Con Convention Centre, because um, uh, they're asking people to deliver water. But to chat to us a little bit more about it, we have uh, Alisa Blay of Gift of the Givers to explain to us what exactly is happening here. Good morning Ali and thank you so much for having us this morning and being here. Why are you collecting water? As we know when the floods occurred in the KZN, it was the biggest disaster in South African history. Within seconds billions of rand of infrastructure was washed away. From that very moment clinics, hospitals, dialysis centers, communities were pleading for us for clean drinking water. Some of the areas have been without water to five to eight days. Our, calls, our call centre was inundated with calls, people, people asking how can we get involved. We are very grateful to the CTICC management and especially the CEO who is on the OECA with us today. Who has said, we want to partner with you guys, we are making 5,000 square metres available, making it the biggest water collection point in the country. We are, we are pleading for Capetonians to play their part, bring along a 5 litre bottle of water which in the end will leave, uh, as soon as the truck is full, it will leave for KZN. There's a misconception, it rains like that, the, the immense amount of rain that KwaZulu got, the flooding that occurred. So there's water everywhere, but literally as the saying goes, there's not a drop to drink. Why is there no drink, drinking water when there's a flood? As we know, the water is contaminated. There are still many people who are missing or lying in the rivers. So the water is not suitable for human consumption. And with that, all of the many areas in the Ithaqueni municipality district is without clean drinking water. That's why the police coming in from the residents there, as we were speaking, many calls are coming through asking us for assistance. We delivered truckloads of water from other provinces already. We are sending water from the, um, from the Western Cape now. This is the collection point for the Western Cape and the need is huge. Literally, a five litre bottle of water is saving one life. How much do you hope to collect here? We are aiming for, our aim is for five to six super links, but, I'm, but, the, but the response we're getting, I think we're going to exceed that amount. We had very touching stories. Yesterday, a pensioner called us. She said, from a monthly pension she received from a social grant, she has 50 rand to spare. She'd like to deposit that into our bank account. We had a, um, a lady earlier, she came all the way from Claremont by bus, pulling a, a, a cart along with clean drinking water. So we can see the spirit of Ubuntu among, uh, following amongst our South Africans, where our countrymen are coming together and showing together we can be there for each other. When the water is collected, how long is the drive and when will you be taking it down to KwaZulu? Uh, uh, it's normally about um, 22 to 23 hours, say, we can say a day, 24 hours it takes to get there. Um, as soon as the water is collected here, it's packaged inside, we'll go through the process later and from there load onto the truck. Once the truck is full, there's no delays, it leaves immediately for KZN. And how long will you be here collecting water? We will be here until next weekend, Saturday. So we'll be here from 8 to 5 every day, including the public holiday coming up. And now is our part for South Africans to rally together and show their support for fellow countrymen. Thank you very much. That was Alisa Blay of Gift of the Givers telling us about this huge endeavor they have. It's the largest uh, collecting point for water we've seen in the country thus far. As he explained there, while there's lots of water in KwaZulu at the moment because of the flooding, the water is contaminated. There's pipes, um, there's debris, so the water is not drinkable. So water, everybody knows that you can go without food for some time, but without water you'll be in trouble within a day. So this is literally life-saving 
achieving uh, what they're doing here. I'm just going to ask my colleague Pam Zakufa to just show you a little bit of the water that's being collected here. We've seen cars pulling up here, dropping off water, um, and they're asking for five litre cans of water. It's just easy to disperse that way and easy to distribute that way. So anyone and everyone who can, who is able, can come deliver water here at the Cape Town International Convention Centre. It's at the foreshore in Cape Town. So if you do have water, if you have a bit of money and you can spend it, uh, buy those five litre bottles of water and come deliver it here at the CTICC. The drive, as you heard from Alisa Blay, they will be carrying on for the next week. Every day until five in the afternoon, they'll be collecting water. So anyone and everyone who's willing to bring water can bring it to the CTICC. And then, of course, they will be delivering it to KZN as soon as the collection drive is finished here. Yeah.